in this video, I will explain how to solve one of the SAT questions that everybody got it wrong because the answer wasn't in the multiple choice. Okay, we have a circle A, which is one, have one third of the radius of, of the circle B for, let's say the circle A have radius one and circle B have radius three. This is a very simple thing to solve because for example, the circumference, the circumference for, for cir circle A is two pi. But look how happen when you start rotating, when you start rotating circle A around B, you have a center here. Let's do a center. Sorry, let's do the center again. Now the center of the rotation will be the the center, the radius of the circle of, of the circle of the rotation, the rotation circle, the radius it will be three plus one. I mean three here plus one here. I mean it's gonna be four, and the circumference of the rotating circle rotation is gonna be a pi because it's gonna be two pi two two pi two pi r and the radius four. I mean two pi. And and that's very simple because how many times goes two pi into a pi? A pi divided by two pi, we get a four. Now the answer is four. Very simple answer. And in general, and then almost everybody got it wrong, but even nobody could guess anything because the multiple choices were all wrong. Now, in general, we have two circles here. And then we're gonna have another, the, the outside circle is gonna rotate. Let's do a circle here. Uh, okay. The outside circle is gonna rotate around the, the top circle is gonna rotate around the bottom circle. This is gonna call A here, this is gonna be B. And this have a radius R, or radius R. Oh, let's, well, let's put radius M. And these are radius M, N. And now, this is simple because we're gonna rotate this the circumference of the top circle, the circumference is gonna be two pi n. And the circumference of the rotating circle, which is the matter here, will be, the circumference of the rotating circle is gonna be two pi, and the rate is gonna be m plus m. We do the, now, how many times go two times m, two times two pi's m into two pi times m plus m? I mean, we do the division, and two pi m plus m divided by two pi m. Pi counts two pi cancel each other, and then we have m plus m divided by m, and then we simplify the fraction that we have m over m plus one. I mean, that's gonna be the general formula. You know that formula, you can answer that question very fast. I don't know why the, all the videos are so long. You don't, have, you, need, you don't need to know trigonometry. You, don't, you only need to know basic geometry. Okay, now we have the solution, thank you.